When it comes to banking, it's always good to do business with people you know, and more importantly, with people who know you, your family, and your children, because our kids are the future of our community. That's why Citizens Bank always puts your family first in Lawrence County. For all your family's banking, whether it's checking, savings, money market, or just some solid advice, come see our family at Citizens Bank of Lawrence County, 1210 Hillcrest Parkway, right across from the hospital. Citizens Bank, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. Hi everyone, we'd like to welcome you to Real Talk. I'm your host Pat Terrio and we are here on the campus of the West Lawrence Raiders for Marcos Knights' second annual 2015 camp, One Hoop, One Dream. Yes ma'am, that's correct. It's, that's correct. It's uh, my second annual, it's my second year doing it, coming back to my community and giving back to the kids in my community and I enjoy every second of it. This is so exciting. You this know, this is so exciting. You know, and last year was a great turnout. Tell us what the difference has been um, from last year to this year, Marcos? The, the difference has been we had more girls this year. Uh, last year, we only had about three girls. <laughs> I know, it, it, yay for the girls, but we have about eight or nine girls this year. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I really emphasize. Uh, I wanted more girls to come, because we have a great coach, Ms. Brandy Haynes, mm -hmm. and she played college basketball. She's a high, uh, she's a coach now, so it's good to see more, more girls come right. out, and uh, I enjoy helping those girls as well. And I noticed that, that there were more girls this time. And you know, of course, that's kudos, you know, because I think that's very important and to see the girls at a, at a co-ed camp exactly. is really good and it definitely helps with the skills now you've been busy this past year since last year right yes ma'am I have uh, I've been over in Germany mm -hmm. I just got back about about a month and a half two months ago uh, I had a pretty good season over there yeah and uh, yeah I've been right now I'm starting my training section for next year already so I'm busy pretty much year round. It, oh it goes God. by fast uh, as far as me being a, a full-time dad and everything like that right. it's for my son during the summertime. But it's good. I enjoy every second of it. And, you know, your experiences, you know, you're experiencing some wonderful things. You know, you coming from Dublin, Georgia. You know, Georgia. and playing over in Germany. Yes, uh, how was that experience? How's it been for you? Well, it, it, it's kind of, it's kind of, it wasn't that big of a transaction for me actually, yeah. because a lot of, uh, a lot of parts in Germany is kind of like the U.S. Yeah. As far as language barriers and everything like that, uh, the foods are different for sure. Yeah. But they have, like I said, they have McDonald's, Burger King, KFC, Subway, <laughs> TGI Fridays over there, so I can feel a little bit at home while I'm over right. in Germany. Have you learned any German? I have. I have. I learned. How to, if I call one of my teammates right now, we can have a pretty, a pretty good civilized conversation. Yeah. Uh, I took classes, uh, Dutch classes, so I know a little bit of German. Oh man, we are so impressed with you already. So this has been great, <laughs> and you know we're glad you got, you've come back with the camp, and you got girls out here now. So tell us what are some of the things that uh, you've been working on with these kids? We'll be working on a skill level. Uh, last year, me my, at the camp, me and my brother camp sat down and talked about the kids here. Are, are lacking a lot of skill level. Yeah. So we, that's one thing we focus on this year. We did a lot of skill development work and a lot of fundamentals. The mm -hmm. one thing I tell each kid, fundamentals will take you a long way. Yeah. You know, knowing how to play the game of basketball will take you a long way. You know, uh, and just showing the kids that I came from a small town. You know, just showing the kids that you can do it also. You know, just because it's Dublin, Georgia, doesn't mean that you can't do it. Right. Know? To not put limits on themselves. Exactly right. Exactly and, right. And that's good that you're teaching that. And of course, and you're living that. Mm -hmm. You know, so you're setting the example by the life that you live, so they can say, okay, man, this could be me one day. <laughs> it can. Uh, <laughs> each kid in here, uh, I believe in each kid, they can go and be whatever they want to be in, in life. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what you want to. It doesn't matter what you want to be. You can be it. Don't let. Don't never let no one tell you you can't do something. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So that's one thing I tell a lot of my kids here as well. You're exactly right. Now tell us about the coaches that you have here on staff helping you. Uh, I have again my brother, which is like my right hand man. Yes, you know? he is. Uh, we do everything together. I have my cousin Quentin. Mm -hmm. uh, I have my cousin this year, Demonte Edmond. He played high school basketball. I had yesterday. I had Coach Cedric Jordan, Middle Georgia coach, right. and I had Coach Scott Moore here with me also. Uh, I had Coach Brandy Haynes. Mm -hmm. She's helping a lot out with the girls, and I also have two important women. That's my mother and my grandmother. Oh they my put God. they put everything together. You know, I'm big on family. 
So I, uh, we, we stick close together, and those two women did a lot for me this year. Yeah, they're like a backbone, aren't they? they? Are. I let them handle everything. <laughs> they're your ride or die. <laughs> That's right. Yes, ma'am. Yes, well, ma well, we definitely want to uh, to talk with some of the coaches and talk with your, your mom and your, your grandmother, too, and talk with some of these players just to see how their experience has been here with your camp. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I, I'm sure they enjoy doing it. It wouldn't be a problem at all. <laughs> and then you're and you've got T-shirts and all kinds of cool stuff. I do, I do. I have T-shirts. I have uh, a lot of giveaways that my Middle Tennessee State University family gave back to me, mm -hmm. and they they uh they support me a lot, and they yeah. give they give the kids a lot of stuff. But all, all their the gifts are from Middle Tennessee State University. That is such so. a blessing, you know, and having played there. So so you're partnering with people. So it, you know. It's good because you've got good relationships with others that's helping you with this. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I had a lot of, you know, sponsors as far well as people supporting me here in Dublin. Yeah. And I know I don't take none of any of that for granted. You know, I'm thankful for everything that I have and the people that help make this camp a successful camp. Yeah. Even you, you made it a successful camp coming out here interviewing me, you know. Gotta let us let me shoot a jump shot hey, or something. <laughs> See if I still got it. I'm sure you do, I'm sure you do. Well, we at TV35 are so proud of of the work that you and your brother are doing, what you're bringing back to the community, because that's very important. You know, we love to see athletes who, who leave and come back to bring something back to these young ones to instill some positive things into them. Yes, ma'am. Like I said, uh, I was at one of these camps before, and I was small, and I remember how excited I was for, you know, just high school yeah. players to come and help me out. You know, and like I said, I just want to come back and give back to my community more and more each year. Absolutely. And that's one thing I'm going to do. You know, we have we have a lot of great uh, athletes, Ben Smith, mm -hmm. Eric Walden, Demarius yes. Thomas, all of us, you know, we, we just coming back and giving back to our community. Uh, you know, we, we enjoy doing it every every second of it, every second of and it. And we're proud of every last one of you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All Thank right. You. We saw your little protege, your little son running around here. He's running around here. <laughs> a lot of people say that he got confidence out of the roof already. They say he get it from me. So, so he, he's doing good, you know. He, he loves basketball. He loves basketball, so. Well, it's in his genes. <laughs> yes, ma'am, it All is. All right, Marcus, yes, well, congra congratulations on another successful camp. Thank you very much, Ms. Pat. All right, one hoop, one dream. This is Marco's Man Night. <laughs> <laughs> you know I just say that, I right? Know it. Thank you. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're having a wonderful time out here at the One Hoop, One Dream Camp, sure. and we've got Mr. Trantel Knight with us. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Doing very well. Now, you know, I haven't seen you in a while, but I know you've been busy this past year since right. we were out here for the last camp, so right. kind of fill us in a little bit about what you've been up to. Uh, and as far as going by last summer, I graduated um, at, from Middle Tennessee State. Ooh, uh, ooh. At, right. <laughs> <laughs> what, did you get your, what did you get your degree in? Uh, it was uh, education. It was uh, education, mm -hmm. middle grade. So Very I, good. Yeah, so um, other than that, i just been sticking around with basketball. You know, I got to have it. It's in my blood, so I got to stay around it. So i just been playing around with basketball, basically, but other than that. You've been going to other countries now. So oh, you, I definitely mean, you, have. You know, I've been you got to tell us, right. you, you haven't just been down in the backyard. <laughs> right, right, right. I did, I've been in Australia, and I've been in Germany, so... This is with basketball, so it's fine. How's your experience has been uh, traveling overseas? Uh, it's very, it's very different. I mean, the culture, man, just learning different languages. It's been fun, but it's been very different as well. Mm. So, I mean, it's been long flights. Uh, Australia was 16 hours, and Germany was like eight and a half hours. So it's <laughs> very long flights, and other than that, it's been pretty good. I That's have to say. good. You know, I've got some family who've never even flown on a oh, plane. God. So <laughs> you're talking about going overseas, right. they have to get their blood pressure checked. <laughs> And everything before. So, you know, these are a lot of great uh, new experiences for you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, let's talk a little bit about your involvement here with the camp with right. your brother. Okay. Uh, definitely. I'm just here giving back to the kids, uh, teaching the fundamentals. It's definitely, it's great when you can come back to your community, give back to the kids, you know, teach them what I was learning. I, when, I, when I was this age, we had it. So I'm just trying to, you know, keep this trend going. You know? So uh, I'm just giving back, teaching the fundamentals, yeah. basically just shooting, dribbling, balling. I mean, all the, all the fundamentals of the game, so defense, all of that. So all that goes in the game, so once they, you know, play and start yeah. playing, they can correlate into the game. You're absolutely right. Now, what age group are you sectioned off with? That uh, right now, that age group, I'm ri right now from um, 14 through 17, maybe, mm -hmm. 13 through 17. Yeah. is a great group of guys, so and they work know, hard. Trentel, can you, like, kind of, when you're watching these boys, you're kind of teaching them certain things, and you kind of make an assessment. Right. What things have you been seeing that these boys really are having more trouble with than most? Uh, the most with the age group I am, just mm -hmm. skill level. Basically, when I say skill level, I mean just the whole package of dribbling, being able to dribble, shoot, and drive. So mm -hmm. I kind of, you know, 
you know, ba uh, drilled it into their head this week. Uh, you can't be one-dimensional. When you play yeah. basketball, you have to be uh, be able to shoot. You got to be able to pass. You got to be able to dribble. If you do that, it would be hard for you to be uh, the guard, for the uh, defender to guard you. That's so. right. And as you all can tell, I'm a little bit shorter than Trentel, <laughs> so you can only imagine the position right. that I play. And, you know, you and you definitely can't be just one-dimensional. Right. And when you see some of these smaller uh, players out here and you can see them in a position, like as a guard, they've got to be able to be diverse, be able definitely. to use their left and definitely. right hand. Right. And, and, you know, that's always a skill that even sometimes definitely. high schoolers struggle Most with, definitely. you know. Yep. And so at what age do you think um, did you, should you start working on something like this? Because your, your age group for this camp is quite wide. Right, right. Uh, I would say the age group, you start them early. The earlier the, earlier, the better. So I would say I would start probably five, maybe six. Mm -hmm. You start at that age, you want, I mean, as they progress, you'll see a lot of um as they get better and everything. Yeah. So if you start earlier, the earlier the better, like I said. Absolutely. Do you see a lot of street ballers out here? Oh, definitely. <laughs> I see a lot of street ball. A lot of street ball. You know, so we got to explain to them what that means. <laughs> uh, street ball just out here, just coming out, running up and down, basically shooting. That's what street ball is. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, you got to coach them, you know, teach them. I'm teaching them what I knew. So yeah. street ball is not what I knew, so I was able to. You know, pass to my teammate, mm -hmm. be a good teammate, basically. So pass, if somebody's open, you passing the ball, set screens and moves. So that's basically what I was taught. And you see them how, how sometimes they want to try to emulate the college and professional Correct. players, Most try good. to run and gun and think that's, they got that's it. it. Yeah, and it's, they, they shoot it, they watch it. Right. It's, it, it's tricking the kids, man. It's tricking the kids. So, I mean, like I said, it's great kids out here, but like I said, if, if they work hard, they won't have a thing to worry about. It is it, correlated to the court. Absolutely. And we're glad that you're out here. We're glad that you're teaching them things that you've learned and you're giving back. Always glad to see right. you. And, and we know that you're bringing something positive here to our community. Most definitely. Great to be seen. So, you know, just uh, giving back to my community, like I said before. It's, it's a great experience, man. Hopefully it'll get bigger and bigger each year. Absolutely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Trantel Tweety Night. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. Mid-State Pools and Spas knows pools and ground pools to above ground pools. Mid-State Pools and Spas has over 35 years in the industry, building more than 3,000 pools. Now, we build all our own pools, never subcontracting to work out. So if you're ready to build a pool, renovate a pool, or you need weekly maintenance or liner replacement with a full 20-year warranty, call the professionals at Mid-State Pools and Spas. Visit our showroom today at 2273 Veterans Boulevard in Dublin and see the new line of Marquee Spas. For the ultimate in hot tub experiences, choose Marquee Spas. Also see our new selection of casual patio furniture available now at our showroom, Mid-State Pools and Spas, where we know pools. All right, you know, ladies and gentlemen, this is certainly a family affair, and it's so nice to see the boys' mother and grandmother out here working so hard for their babies. We're going to let them introduce themselves to you and just tell you a little bit about what they've been doing behind the scenes to make sure that Marcos's camp goes off without a hitch. We got this one right here that's wearing her son's jersey. Hey, Brenda. Hi, my name is Brenda Knight. I'm the parent of Marcos, Trentel, and Avery Knight. Now, Brenda, we know you're so proud of your boys. Very proud. And, you know, everywhere they go, you really try to be there to support them. And here is the second annual One Hoop, One Dream mm -hmm. camp. It is, it is. Now, tell us what part have you played in this? I have played every part. <laughs> <laughs> From the keep taking the money, the nurse, the teacher, everything. I have done everything. And, and how does it feel being able to do that for your boys? Yeah. It feels very, very good. Mm -hmm. Glad I'm able to do it. We are too. All right, now here go Grandma. Hey, sugar. Hi. <laughs> All right, your turn. Well, I'm the uh, grandmother of uh, Marcos Trantea, Avery Knight, and this is my uh, daughter, Brenda Knight, the mother of the three boys. Mm -hmm. And you are out here as much as you can, aren't you? Yes, I am. Uh, and I'm enjoying every moment of it. <laughs> Have you been busy in preparing to help with the camp? Yes, I have. And what things have you been doing? Well, I've been uh, talking with them and helping them out with the kids and doing a little everything with them. Very good. And you got some ladies back here. You've got a parent working back with you here. Yes. And then you've got the Tennessee girls. Y'all wave at us. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, and it, it certainly takes a group to help. With this uh, camp, you got a large turnout this time. We yes. do, we do. And this is the last day of camp. It is. And and you guys, what are y'all working on now? What are you doing right here? All right. 
Uh, we're doing the water bottles and the t-shirts uh -huh. and the cars. Let me see what, let me have one of these. Okay, number 11, Marcos Knight Basketball Camp. I hope y'all gonna have me one of these. Oh, we will. No and get doubt. a t-shirt too now. I don't like to go empty handed. Okay, I'm gonna try to get you a t-shirt. <laughs> And you know, uh, Grandma, what are your feelings about seeing these boys and, and seeing how um, successful they are and, and to see them mentoring other young kids in the game of basketball the way you see them? Well, I'm very proud of them. I, I enjoy every moment of being with them and watching them, you know, uh, mentor the kids and teaching them the mm -hmm. hoop or whatever. <laughs> Just. I'm just enjoying it. I bet you are. Every day of the camp. Absolutely. Now, Brenda, now we've seen you many times out there when the boys are playing, and just to see you going crazy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now here you are, um, you know, with the camp for Marcos, and you see Trantel out there, and you see all the other kids and other support that are here, part of this camp. Mm -hmm. What feeling do you have as a mom? A very proud feeling. Yeah, and see all my boys doing good, and then they coming back giving to the com community. Mm -hmm. I'm just a proud parent, and it's a blessing to be able to give back like that. It is. It's a, a blessing. And you know, it's nice that the boys have you two as a support system. Of course, your whole family mm -hmm. uh, cheering them on and pushing them uh, to continue and to d continue to do great things. And of course, and they're keeping their foundation, which is in the Word of God. Amen. Yes. Amen. All right, ladies. Good Enjoy to see both of you. Now day. get back to work okay. and get my T-shirt. <laughs> I will get you a shirt. All right. <laughs> All right. You know, it was so fun talking to uh, Trantel and Marcos, and they talked about the support they have here. And we've got a, a wonderful individual here who has definitely imprinted their lives with us. Coach Eric Williams, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Doing great. You know what? I've, I'm, I'm glad you decided to sit down with me because no I, problem. you know, and how tall are you? Six, six and a half. Yeah, that didn't, that wasn't going to, you know, fare too well on camera you with know, the I, five, two individual. But guess what? <laughs> two things you don't control is your age and your height, so. You're exactly right. You're bigger, you're bigger in other stature. There you go. My hair, perhaps. <laughs> you got it going on. All right, coach, talk to us a little bit about your, your career, and then let's talk about how you came to know Marcos and Trantel, if you would. Okay, uh, I'm originally from Mount Vernon, New York. Uh, I played basketball west at uh, Texas A&M in Texas. Um, and then I also played overseas in Japan. And I played uh, mostly on the East Coast back here in the States. I do skill development. Mm -hmm. Before uh, the Knight Brothers went to Middle Georgia College, which is where I first bumped into them, I, um, I, I coached the 2003-2004 um, Middle Georgia Warriors at that time, okay? Went, both men and women, that was the first group that went to a region final that won the, the, the Georgia Ju Junior College Championship. Mm -hmm. And then we went out to uh, Salina, Kansas, and we played the number one team, which was Florida Gulf Coast. I was there. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Okay, okay. My whole family, we were there in okay. Salina, Kansas, when right. you all played. Right, <laughs> right. We played the number one team yeah. in the nation, which eventually ended up being the uh, champion, which was Florida Gulf Coast. Right. And out of all the teams there, we uh, we played in the close. We the closest. We uh, we lost by 12. Yeah. But they blew everybody else out by 30. But anyways, came back. I've always supported these camps. Um, and when 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 the Knight Brothers were playing at Middle Georgia. I supported them and Coach Mo and, and Coach Jordan that came came yesterday. And this right here is to me it's just a blessing to have, you know, come back, give back to these kids. Because we me and you, we were both yes. kids. Right, right. So it's easy to come back and show an example that you are as not just basketball, but as a person. Mm -hmm. And that and that's important. And to see these kids, the real fruits of the labor is to see them say in Walmart. They'll come up to you and say, Hey Miss Pat. Thank you for coming to the camp. That's yeah. that's the that's the treasure, right, you right, know. Right. So to me, it's about giving back. I enjoy doing this, mm -hmm. and like I said, I coach uh, men, women, kids all around the United States. Yeah. And you know, as a skill developer coach, you know, we're talking about uh, the different fundamentals of of the game. And have you seen through the years, and, and of course, you know, from your generation to the generation now, the difference in how athletes actually play the game. Well, you're, you're right. Uh, there has been a difference, but it's less on the individual. Mm -hmm. And that's that's why it's important to do these things, because it's not about their skill. It's about the effort. And like I said, 
whether you're tall, short, or whatever, they have to give at least 50% back yes. and do it because they want to. Mm -hmm. But it's also about building camaraderie. Yes. You know, this, 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 this is great because this is both boys and girls. Yes. You know, so yes, it, ha it has changed. And, and, and the difference between the two is usually you have a captive audience with, with, with ladies. Yes. You know, yes. boys sometimes, you know, they're more athletic, but I, I'll tell you right now, the difference between the two, night and day as far as focus. Right, right. So. And you know, and I think that even back in our day, the focus was different because we didn't have access to so much of the technological things uh, that kids have now. And I noticed that when, you know, going into the schools and even with my kids playing sports, um, I, re I was so into my craft, if that makes sense. Right. And you know, I didn't have a lot of other distractions what do you say about, uh, you know, how do you help steer the kids to have a love for the game, to to really practice their craft with all the other distractions that's going around? Good, good question. I think that the real thing is you got to look at the whole person concept. Mm -hmm. You know, you have you have to look at what do they want to do, but you also people got to understand whether we have these camps. It's not about basketball. The parents or somebody has to support these kids. Right. You know, so to me. You know, uh, uh, if you look at outside your front door is your front mat. Right. You can instill all that you want, but if a, a pastor or a coach doesn't support that, mm -hmm. you know, they're going to be wayward bound. You can only control the area that they're, they're right. with. Right, right. So to me, you know, you, you got to make sure that you, sometimes as, it's, it's good to start at this age because now they know they can come talk to you mm -hmm. or whatever. And, and the good thing is they might want to be in broadcasting or they might want to be in sports. Right. That's really what this is about is to follow your passion. Right, absolutely. And to have a good support system in that. Yes. In that. Yes. And you know, Coach, it's so good to meet you and to hear some of your wisdom as you spoke to the kids. And, you know, you're living a life to show that when you have that passion, when you have that support system, and when you have that drive, there's nothing you cannot accomplish. You're, you're, you're completely right. I think what you just said as far as accomplishment is, a, is, a, is, the, is the major thing. It's for these kids to understand, besides their parents, other people care about them. Yeah. You know, and to me, I look forward to that. You know, you never forget where you come from, you know, and you, you, you give back not for accolades or anything. You give back because, just like what you said, when we were growing up in our generation, you didn't have too many mentors or things like this. So this is this is just a great facility. And to me, you know, like I said, the main thing is the whole person concept. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, you see a lot of talent in these kids already. <laughs> yes, yes, you, you see a lot of talent. Um, like I said, I think at the younger age, we really got to incorporate the parents to understand no matter what they do, whether it be a job or sport, they got to learn to work together, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and I just hope that the parents understand, you know, besides just providing for them, yeah. they, they have to make sure that they sometimes listen to them, you know, because me, when I coach, my thing is about effort over completion. Mm -hmm. I'd much rather a person try than think, okay, because you never measure these kids versus who's the fastest, who's this or whatever. If a person is trying, and then the other thing is if they give their time. If they give their time, you got to appreciate that. And, and more than skill development around here, you're teaching them to work together as, as boys and girls and as people, you know, because like a lot of times, you know, like you said, without, without mentoring or somebody telling them, you don't need to worry about, oh, I wouldn't work for a woman or I wouldn't do this, that. <laughs> if, if Pat is the best, if Pat is the best, ice cream maker, I'm not going to make you uh, do pizza, right, right. you know, you, you want to find out what their passion is, support it, you know, and beyond this, not not just as they transition through school, but as you see them, you know, you could be at Burger King and they'll come to you, hey, Miss Pat, I saw you at the camp, You're, I think that that is the, that's, I, I'm like this, anything that anybody can buy, anybody can have, but the things that are priceless is as you develop friendship, respect, love, those are the things that that put the value in, and trust me, like I said, what you do is a plus too. Yeah. And I appreciate, you know, the Knight Brothers and you and everybody sitting out here participating in this and, and to see the grandmother and the mother out here exactly. and examples, you know, it's just great. 
It is great. And, you know, and you said you said so much there. And so, you know, so much wisdom came from that. And, you know, I know with me as a, an athlete or a former athlete, you know, being this age, you know, being the, you know, the 13th to 14 kids, we didn't have the financial means to be able to go to all those different camps at that early age. But I worked on my craft. My family was a great support system. And I learned how to be a team player. There you go. And that, and that, and that passes... That passes in, in, in any job that you do, not just basketball or a sport. You know, team is very good. You know, to me, team means together everybody achieves more. That's what team goes for. And, and you look at, don't, don't, you know, you, like we were talking about in society, a lot of things financially we can't overcome. But you can support, you know, you sit over there and you look at, we got a lot of things going on in the world. But whether it be a, a meal or whatever, I, these kids are great. You know, and, I, I, and the only way to help it out is to be supportive of parents, teachers, and other people trying to help them out. Because no one person can do it by themselves. Absolutely not. You know, and you know the saying, teamwork makes a dream work, baby. There you go. <laughs> there you go. And you heard it first from Pat. <laughs> you, know? you know what, Coach Williams, it's been such an honor to meet you and to speak with you. You know, and coming from money earning Mount Vernon. There you go. Now, have you actually transitioned much into the Southern lifestyle? Well, you know, you know, you grew up in uh, New York, and it makes you adaptive because it's yeah. hustle and bustle. There's really no difference between up north and down south, other than the pace is slower down here, which gives yeah. you more time to spend with your family. Mm -hmm. uh, up north, you know, you got limited, you got limited access, so you got to take transportation and different things because of space. But I'm adapting wherever you go because the bottom line is if you, if anybody, anybody, older, younger, if they could go into Walmart down aisle three and say, okay, I want, I want a Miss Pat or I want a Marcus Knight, everybody would be there, but you can't. So to me, the valuable thing is people. Yeah. And it starts from when they're little all the way up. Absolutely. No matter where you come from. It's not, what, it's not where you come from. It's what you're about. All right. You heard it from him best. All right. It's been a pleasure, Coach Eric Williams. Keep doing great things. I will. And I appreciate this time, and I will be back next year. I will be back as long as they have this going on wherever. All right, very good. This is Coach Eric Williams, everyone, from Money Outing, Earning Mount Vernon. You know it. <laughs> and this is Is That Pat. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Whether you're buying, selling, leasing, or building, you know you can trust on the folks at Premier Properties of Dublin. Phil Best and his staff have been serving Dublin, Lawrence County, and all of Middle Georgia for the past 20 years. Premier Properties of Dublin. All right, you know, it's so good to talk to a female here that's that's running things. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? Doing very good. We got to see you last year. Mm -hmm. We talked to you a little bit about what was going on. How has your right. year been since then? Right. Everything has been well. Um, this year we had a bigger amount, a larger amount of kids. Mm -hmm. um, about 20 of the little kids. So if you can imagine, that's a lot. That's Brent, a lot. We were looking at some of the little kids. They were just dancing. Yes. And, uh, they're full of energy. <laughs> and when they turn the music on, they were just giddy. I, I said, some people are probably not even going to think this is a camp. If they saw these little kids, they're going to think it's a dance camp. Right. All right. right. Now, and of course, you're still involved at West Lawrence. Tell us right. about what, you're, what you do there. Right. Here. Well, I'm the assistant coach here at West Lawrence High School. And, you know, you played at Fort Valley. And I did. I did. How does it feel for you to be a part of a camp like this? You know, we talked to the boys uh, about giving back, you know, so coming back to, to give like this and, of course, at such capacity. Right. Um, it feels really good because when we were kids, I'm sure um, Marcos and Tweety came to the camps as well, but we had like the school camps, the West Lawrence High School camp, the East Lawrence High School camp, the Dublin camp or whatever. So it's really good that Marcos is coming back holding a camp for the kids because they don't have a lot of the school camps anymore for all ages, both girl and, girls and guys. So I'm really, I'm really ecstatic to be back and to be able to serve here. We're glad to have you back and of course to see these girls out here. Right, right. I love it. And the girls are hooping. The are girls are hooping. That's right. Now what age limit are you working with today? I'm this working with the smaller kids. Um, what age I is think that? three to age seven or something. Has that been challenging for Ooh, you? Oh, yes, yes, yes. They're full of energy and they're always everywhere. It's hard to keep them at a line and yeah. they want to they shoot, dribble, all at the same time. But and the 
think about that age group, you know, it's good to have them out here. It's good to have them out here touching the ball and doing some different things. But you have you have to spend so much time right. in discipline and getting them right. in order, and right. because they, like you say, they will go off somewhere and, else. Yeah, and, and that's kind of the hard part because they all want to be successful and they all want to do it. I even had a little girl came up to me. She said, "Look, Miss Brandy, I've been practicing that trick you showed me," and she did a little trick. I was like, "Oh." So it's moments like that. I'm really happy to be here, and I'm, I feel like I'm making a difference. You are definitely making a difference, and two realize too at that age group that they can only retain so much. Right, and that's true. That's and true. so when you, you know, they can't be overloaded with so much stuff, but right. when you give them just enough. Yeah, and that's that's another thing we have to work on. I have to break it down. I can't give them too much <laughs> at once because they won't remember. So I have to say, like let's this. do this, and then let's do that. Right. But it's fun, it's fun. And you know, you're, you're making the adjustments, and you know, right. what is good about this camp, Brandy, yes, as yes. you've said, is to have such a variety of ages, mm -hmm. and to see you all working in so many in different areas you have like five stations out here or so and it's kind of trial and error though i'll try something and i said oh that didn't work so <laughs> i have to tweak it and try something else and it's a learning experience for them and for myself absolutely these are like all your little babies for this right, week right, right. <laughs> well it's good to see you glad you're coming back and giving back glad you're still at west Lawrence doing great things coaching there right. and it's so good to see you good to see you too I'm all glad right to be here this is coach brandy haynes yes all right, ladies and gentlemen, it's so fun to now get to meet these kids, and they're going to talk to us a little bit. They've got their parents waiting in the wing, and we're going to let them tell us who they are. Hi, little lady. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Leah Wells. Hey, Leah. Now, tell us where do you go to school, uh, what grade you're going to next year, and tell us who your parents are. I go to Southwest Lawrence Elementary. Mm -hmm. I'm... I'm in first grade, about to go to second. My my parents are named Malik and Stacy. Mm-hmm. Now listen, are you having a good time at this camp? Yes. <laughs> now what things have you learned that you have really enjoyed? Drills. Mm-hmm. Triple threats. Wow. And shooting. And shooting. Are you a good shooter? Yes. <laughs> Now, do you do you play uh, basketball already yes. at home and stuff? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, do you have any big brothers or sisters or anyone? Yes. Who are they? Tell us who they are. Devin Moyles. So you're the baby. Okay. Now, so you've been here all three days, huh? Are you tired? Are you ready to go home, or could you do another day or two? I can do another day. <laughs> And so when you first started, were you kind of nervous to see all the other kids, or were you cool? I was kind of nervous. Mm-hmm. Are you as nervous now, or you're good now? I'm good now. Have you been able to meet some friends, make some friends while you've been here? Yes. Yes. All right. Now, do you think, Leah, is this something that you want to do next year? Yes. Okay. All right. And so now that you've finished, this is the last night, you know, a little sad about it? Yes. But you've learned some really good things, right? Yes. Okay. So what are you going to do this summer that's going to be fun? My dad's getting his payday. Mm -hmm. So he's going to take me to Walmart uh -huh. and let me do and let me get a toy. And you make sure you get a very big and expensive toy, okay? Okay. All right. And then, you know, get get a little extra change, you okay. know, for spending money for later, right? That's how you have to do it, honey. Okay? Okay. All right. Well, listen, enjoy the rest of your summer. I will. All right. Tell everyone bye. Bye. That was Leah. She's so sweet and beautiful, and she's going she to break daddy when they get down to hanging out at Walmart. Well, well, hey, son. Hey. Tell us who you are. Joshua Bass. Hey, Joshua. Does anyone ever call you Josh? They do? All right. A Tell lot. A lot. I have a son, he's na his name's Josh, but he's like 19. You're not 19, are you? How old are you? Six. Six, so are you going to like the first grade or? I'm oh, going to first. You're going to first. That's exciting, leaving kindergarten, isn't it? Did you have a graduation from kindergarten? Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. now where, are you go where do you go to school? Southwest Lawrence, gentlemen. Southwest Lawrence, so you're a little raider. Now tell us about your family. 
My mama's name is Sawyer, and my daddy's name Wayne Bass, and, and my sister's name Lauren Shelley, and my brother's name Caleb. Are you a little brother or a big brother? Little. You're the little brother. Okay. Now, have you always played basketball? No, ma'am. So, was this your first time coming to a camp? How was it? Good. Good. What did you learn? Skills. Skills. You know, skills are so important. You know that? Are you a good dribbler? All right. Is this something you think you'll come back and do? Yes, ma'am. Very good. All right. Nice to meet you. Thank you. All right. This is Josh, everyone. Thank you, Josh. All right. Who do we have next? Oh, my, my. Look at him. Got his little tank top on. Why don't you introduce yourself, young man? RJ. RJ. RJ, tell us what your full name is. Reggie Whipple. Okay, now tell us where do you go to school? Tell us what grade you're in and all that good stuff. Saxon and going to the third. Third grader, man. Now, you look like you already play basketball. Have you already been playing basketball? Mm hmm. And so you came in here already, you knew some things. What did you already know before you started this camp? Crossover shooting. You can cross over? And so, what new things did you learn being here? Pick and roll. The pick and roll? Oh my goodness, man. You're going to have a lot that you can show others and your friends when you leave this camp, won't you? All right, now, do you think you want to play, you know, basketball for the school and stuff like that? Okay, and you've learned some cool things. Who are your parents? Do you want to tell us who your family is? Regina Whoopo and Tyrone Rosier. All right, very good. Well, RJ, it's nice to meet you. Look up and tell everybody bye. Bye. <laughs> This is RJ, everyone. Thank you, RJ. Travis's Professional Carpet Cleaning Services has been providing constant and quality carpet care for more than a decade. Call Travis's for expert cleaning and restoration of your carpet, tile, grout, upholstery, and more. Travis offers residential and commercial services in order to make your home or office a cleaner and healthier environment. Travis's Professional Carpet Cleaning Services, a leader in Lawrence and surrounding counties for more than a decade. Call now at 278-4373. All right, this little fella right here, now, you know, you and I have seen each other. We have chit-chatted and everything, but tell everybody else, talk to us a little bit about you, okay? Uh, my name is Ashton Williams, and I go to Hillcrest Elementary, and I'm going to third grade. Third grade, ooh, that's big time, isn't it, Ashton? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell them who your parents are. My parents are Lori Jackson Williams and Joseph Paul Williams. All right, very good. Now listen, now Ashton, you, you've already been doing camps, man, so this is like nothing for you, is it? Mm -hmm. But you enjoy these camps. What have you learned this, uh, this week that's been really valuable for you? Mm, using the backboard. Ooh, are you good at the backboard? You shoot bricks? <laughs> when your daddy was your age, he used to shoot bricks. <laughs> he, had to, he had to get into it, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, Ashton, so listen, so you've been learning how to use the backboard. Now, so what is it, what's difficult about being able to use the backboard? Mm, it's, hard to, um, aim. It's, hard, it's hard to aim at it. Yeah, it is, it is. But you've been practicing, and you know, and the more you practice, the better you're going to get. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you think is your, your, uh, the best thing that you're good at when it comes to basketball? Shooting. Shooting. You got a good jump shot? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ashton. So we, we expect to see you on this court, and we expect to see you doing great things on this basketball court, living the legacy of your family. You got it? All right. Good to see you. This is Ashton, everyone. All right, we've got another young lady here who's been enjoying herself at the camp. How are you? I'm doing good. Good to see you. You're a tall one. I'm sure you hear that all the time, right? I'm sure. You're sure. You do know you're almost as tall as me, so what does that say? Well, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> all right, tell us who you are. Tell us a little bit about you, and let's talk about um, your, this, your experience here with the camp, okay? Okay. My name is Zaria Battle. I'm going to the eighth grade. I go to East Lawrence, and my parents are Ari Winston and Zach Battle. And this is just—it's a fun experience and mm -hmm. a fun learning experience. Like I'm learning new things because I'm not really good at basketball. But you know, to see you out here, Zaria, you know, and participating in a camp, a co-ed camp like this, is very good. Um, and so, have you ever played basketball before? 
Yeah, sometimes I play with my brother because mm -hmm. he's really good. So what made you decide to want to come to a camp to kind of improve? And, see, and My brother, he like loves basketball. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to see what was so fun about it because like, why is he having so much fun playing a sport? Yes. And so I went and I wanted to try and it turned out to be really great. And, and is, your is your brother older or younger than you? He's younger than me. <laughs> So you're like, hmm, let's see what this game's all about. And so, you know, this kind of camp, you know, they're teaching you different skills and different fundamentals. What things have you learned? Because you want to make sure that when you're a part of a camp that you're actually getting something out of it. So what have you learned that you can say you have definitely can take away with you when you leave? Well, from our guest speakers, I've learned that we need to stay focused in school. It's not just about the sport. And also, we need to use teamwork and with Mr. Knight and his brother, I've learned how to dribble better and pass and shoot basically everything. Everything. And look at your smiling. So you're going to be like, okay, little brother, I got something to show you. <laughs> I'm pretty good now. I can beat him. <laughs> All right. And now you're going into, you're in the middle school, of course. You're, yes, ma'am. Um, do you plan on trying out for basketball? I might. I okay. think so. And you know, you have to have the confidence to do that. And, but you've got a, the rest of the summer. Uh, yeah. So you can practice and work on the things that you've learned here at this camp so that you can only get better. You'll only get better when you when you practice. You know that? Yes, ma'am. All right. So, all right, little brother. What's your little brother's name? Zion Battle. All right, Zion. She's going to show you something when she gets home. All right? going to cross him over. You're going to cross him over, uh, do some bank shots. Yes. Uh -huh. Use the backboard. Pick and roll. Shoot some threes like <laughs> Steph Curry. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, it's good to see you out here, you know, learning something new. You're taking it in. You've got a good attitude about it, and that's so, so important. Yeah. All right. We're proud of you. you got to stay positive. Stay positive. All right. Any last words, Zaria? I just want to thank him for having this camp because it's a great learning experience. All right. And I'm looking forward to doing it again next year. Very good. This is Zaria Battle. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you for having me. Thank you because you guys are going to school, but also you got to have fun in life. Uh, anytime you go to a camp or you do anything, you're going to do a sport that you like, but you're also going to make new friends. Can, can you guys, can you hear me? Okay. The other thing is you got to look at what's important as far as what you eat, get your rest, you got to do your schoolwork. Okay. These are examples right here, the two brothers. Okay. They played basketball, they graduated, okay, and they're giving back. You know, you, you play the sport of basketball, it's not something that you can do by yourself. Anybody think they can do it by themselves? There you go. You can't even take the ball out of bounds without somebody helping you out. So it's not, it's not about everybody's got to be like him or her or whatever. You got to help each other out. That's teamwork, whether you're doing a job or whether you're playing a sport. And when you got, you got your counselors and Marcus and them out here, if you're doing something, you can say, hey, help me out, or I don't know this, or whatever. Okay? You got that? Other thing is, you're going you're gonna to meet people. Some people are going to play football. Some people are going to play softball, basketball, whatever it is. These same people you see, how many, how many people have been here both years? Okay. No matter what you do, you're playing a sport or you're doing schoolwork, okay, make sure somebody's always supporting, okay? That's what these two brothers are doing. I, I grew up in the New York City foster program, okay? That means if you didn't have the Boys and Girls Club or camps like this, okay, you're gonna have to learn stuff out in society. Fortunately, fortunately, somebody took me in and they get the credit for where I stand in today because you never forget where you come from. Everybody here, they both were your age. Okay, then I played ball, a sport that they like, then they graduated, got support right here by their moms. Okay, so this is what, Marcus, this is what, your second year? Okay, now look, what's, give me a couple of ages. How old are you? 10? Eight? Ah, I know the second time I've seen him. How old are you? Okay, look. Next year, we want to see everybody back here. You're going to have fun. You got any questions, you're going to ask me, or you can ask the brothers right there. Okay? Thank you for your time.
I'm Marcus Clements with Clements & King Insurance. We offer dental, life, health, and vision insurance for seniors. Blue Cross Blue Shield, Mutual Omaha, Humana, United Healthcare, and other carriers have insurance designed especially for seniors. Are you confused trying to navigate the internet for your insurance questions? Call Clements & King Insurance. We take all the confusion out of your insurance questions. We have a friendly staff ready to assist you. Call today for an appointment.